Today coming to you with a topic that's really the main thing over here but it's also something that if I wasn't here I would never have looked into I would never have even dwelled into it to that depth Over here, everyone lives off it, everyone's working for it It's the core of everything that happens here So deep and uh, it's one of them topics that even if you try to explain it to someone it's like, oh no, nah, it just doesn't really work in terms of theory and That topic is blessings now, I know what you're thinking, I'll be in the same boat as you as well. If someone came to me and started talking about blessings, it's like, what is going on? Because it's not a conversation we're used to having. It's more like, it's a personal thing. If you feel it in your life, you feel it. Otherwise, we don't really converse on the topic too much. Just a quick example, let me put it into a bit of a picture for you. What are blessings? Now, when you look back on life, you find out ways that life just worked out in some way, shape or form. You're thinking, hey, how did everything just work out so well? You need someone to thank for that. That is what we call blessings. Somewhere along the line, you've had well wishes look onto you and them well wishes have activated themselves in ways that you just can't really pinpoint as such. Like it could be the right person came into life or the right situation just conjured up. A lot of things just fell into place. That is what we consider blessings. Now, blessings aren't just about making things easier. They're also about gathering life into you. Take the example of you feed the kids of a mother struggling to feed her own kids. Now, if you feed them kids, you feel that emotional spark. Now, over here, we don't work in wealth transactions. There's no, there's no gain for gain. Things like that, it just doesn't happen here. Now, we're working off a whole different vibe. That vibe is making someone happy. That happiness, that flows into your life and that builds you in such a way, there's a bit of a depth to it as well. That depth is not really one of the most explainable topics in the world, but think about it like this. There's a lot of seniors here. They've looked up to seniors above them. Now, to put this as an explanation, a father is always looking after the son. Now, the son, might want to do different things, different angles in life. The father's always going to be pretty happy with the son. But when the son says, no, 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 father, I want you to come with me. I want your help. I want this and that. I'm going to do exactly as you say. I'm going to pump it according to your guidance. Then the father has to activate a whole nother level of activity for the kid. This is what I'm going with here. So over here with the seniors, there's a lot of individuals that you just want to learn from. You want to get to the elevation they've got to you. Literally just want the type of life energy they've got. You want a lot of the learnings they've got. Now, because we're so used to thinking material gain, if I do something for you, I need money, I need this or something like that. Is that need something in it for me? All of that, it doesn't really work like that over here. There's a whole different angle. That whole angle goes a bit like this. I want to do something, I want to get guidance on something, I will go to someone that's got it. I would go to someone that's on that level of where I want to get to, I would get the guidance from them. I could be talking about anger management, sorting out sleep levels, even just arranging the thoughts in your head so there's nothing disturbing. There's loads of things that we could be talking about here. So, you get guidance on it, you'll find out it's hard. As soon as you find out it's hard, you're going to feel that struggle and you're still going to want to push. That level of push is what is going to show someone that, okay, this guy is dedicated. Let me help him. Let me join in on his mission. And then all of a sudden, things start getting easier. You're thinking, wait, before this conversation, I was struggling. After this conversation, all of a sudden, I feel that much stronger. Some sort of higher power than my own has come in and influenced my ability to do something now. That as a whole is something we all live by as a form of experience now. It's like, you know when you make someone happy, you just feel that much happier. And you know this whole concept, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. This type of thing, it also works over here. So the blessed get more blessed. Why? Because you're generating a vibe, you're pushing out good forms of happiness to other people. They feel like giving that sort of vibe back to you. This starts generating a lifestyle. You start pulling life into you. You start pulling that whole vibe. Things do start getting easier. You start being able to push yourself that much harder. Then you start looking back on life and ah, oh, you feel such a buzz. It's like, whoa, what is going on in my life? How is life this good? You can't answer the question, how? It's like, how is things fitting into place? How did life get this good? How am I even able to feel in such a way? 
all these things, these this big question, how? Also looking forward, you get to answer the question, how? In such a nice, blessed way. Now looking forward, everyone is stressed about the word how. It's like, how am I going to do this in life? How am I going to cook my next meal? How am I going to... The word how is pretty much everyone's biggest worry. Now, when you're really elevated up, when you really know what you're living for, why you're living for it, and who is with you on that journey, that word how, looking forward, you're thinking, hey, actually everything's just gonna work out. That is a whole feeling, that's a lifestyle. There's, there's so much behind it, that's the whole journey. This is what I call root spiritual. That, that route that you're taking, you don't know what's going on, you don't know like set destinations or anything like that. Sometimes you feel lost, to be honest, but what you are right now, who you're being blessed by, who you're pushing out a good vibe to, all of this, when you keep adding up, you count your blessings. And that's not really the most explainable thing in the world, but you can see it on someone. This guy is actually a blessed guy. There's something about him that's just happy at the core. And if there's someone happy, there's other reasons behind the happiness as well. Most people call it good luck. Over here, we call it the will of the heart. Whatever that will of the heart is, a lot of things start lining up. And whether I've been able to explain it or not, this conversation can continue. There's this whole aspect of God's influence in your life, this whole aspect of who you made happy and who you've also put down. This whole thing about building your life on a blessed platform, that's the long-term conversation.